What's going on there guys? Good evening once again. The Earthmaster here on this Tuesday evening, April 12, 2022, about 8.12 p.m. Got an earthquake coming in to the live seismographs there. Also the Earthquake 3D Globe right now, a 6.3 earthquake striking out here around the Papua New Guinea area. Let's go ahead and check out this latest movement here on the map here from uh, US. Well, look at that seismograph station right there in Japan. Definitely picking up that uh, signature from the 6.3 rather nicely. Let's go ahead and check out this latest movement here on the USGS map. Of course, they haven't got it up here yet. USGS kind of slow. There was a prior 5.5 earthquake here at about 13.4 kilometers deep. Pretty shallow movement uh, prior to the uh, 6.3 that's coming in right now. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model. See what these folks are showing. They're pretty quick at it. Uh, there's that... Uh, well, there's the 5.5, and there is the 6.3 earthquake coming in right now into the Papua New Guinea region. Let's go ahead and see if I can uh, get any info on it. New Britain region, uh, Papua New Guinea, looks like at about 140 kilometer depth. That's a pretty deep earthquake. Um, looking at, uh, I want to check out the seismograph stations here real quick once again and see if that is indeed uh the magnitude or if it's going to be any bigger 6.3 japan i don't know that's a good possibility we could see this thing bump up here uh, i'm looking at that seismograph station there in japan right here and that's definitely a ways away from the Papua new guinea region that's a pretty large signature on that seismograph so i'm thinking this thing is going to get bumped up a little bit probably a mid six maybe an upper six magnitude earthquake uh, coming in there to the Papua new guinea area We'll see what the USGS states, uh, but for now the EMSC model showing a 6.3. Uh, now sometimes these these guys are very quick. I'm not I'm not dogging them one bit. Uh, they are very quick when it comes to kicking out a preliminary earthquake report uh, whenever something does hit the seismograph. But uh, a lot of times they undercut it or they overcut it in terms of the magnitude itself. But uh, still waiting on the USGS. Uh, let me check the Tsunami Warning Center. These guys aren't reporting anything yet either. So, uh, man, uh, I'm thinking this is going to be uh, uh, definitely above a 6.3 level. Uh, let's go ahead and chat a little bit here before that pops up. Now, we have been seeing a, a good push of movement here to the west. We've seen a lot of deep earthquake activity here in the Fiji Islands. Um, although prior to this 5.5 and the 6.3, supposedly that's coming in now in the Papua New Guinea area, uh, prior to those two quakes, there was some earthquake activity up here, a 5.7 off the coast of Japan, right? Prior to those three earthquakes, there wasn't much. These quakes that you're seeing here on the glow on the map here around Indonesia. Oh, these guys are reporting 5.9. So that's kind of a little downgrade there, uh, from the USGS. But uh, prior to all these earthquakes here, um, this is much older movement here around the Tonga, New Zealand area, and Indonesia region. So we're seeing a large push of westward movement here in the uh, Pacific Plate. So a 5.9 is what's being reported from the USGS. It shows that it has been reviewed. So we'll see if that holds or not. It's kind of a major downgrade. So... USGS has been known to uh, bounce around quite a bit as well. Let me check what the EMSC model here is showing. Uh, it's just checking out some space weather stuff there uh, on the uh, coming G2 class storm. Let me double check here, see what these folks are reporting. These guys uh, still showing. Well, now they've downgraded to 5.9 as well. So I guess we will go with a 5.9, but that looks a little bit larger though. Um, and it could have something to do with the depth of that earthquake uh, in the uh, Papua New Guinea area. 146 kilometer deep earthquake. Very deep movement. Uh, but it's being picked up rather dramatically up there in Japan. So we'll see if it sticks, folks. For now, take your pick. 6.3 or a 5.9. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone.